Welcome to Good to Know, Pinellas County's presentation on the programs and services provided by your county. I'm your host, Josh Boatwright of Pinellas County's Communications Department. You probably know that eating too much greasy, fatty food can clog your arteries and cause serious long-term health problems. But did you know that grease, cooking oil, butter, and other liquid food byproducts can cause the same types of problems for your plumbing at home or even your local sewer system? During the holidays, Pinellas County's Solid Waste Department has an important message for citizens cleaning up after those big family meals. Dump your grease in the trash, not down the sink. The county also offers numerous locations where residents and businesses can recycle their cooking grease. Pinellas County Solid Waste Program Coordinator, Jan Tracy, is here to talk to us today about why grease is your kitchen sink's worst nightmare and how you can get rid of it. Jan, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Josh. So, uh, Jan, the Thanksgiving holiday just ended and a lot of people were mainly just thinking about enjoying a good juicy turkey, but the workers in our, uh, in, in our waste management uh, department are thinking a lot about all the grease that goes down the drain. And uh, w why, why is it important not to pour grease down your drain, Jan? Well, uh, as you stated, the grease can harm your arteries. Well, they also can do the same sort of thing to the sewer pipes and to at the wastewater treatment plants. And it's the utility workers that work with water and us at Solid Waste, we are both worried about um, working on proper grease disposal. Uh, when the grease goes down your drain, it's going down the drain in your house, of course, to the street and it starts making its way to the wastewater treatment plant and grease starts to come together and causes clogs, um, even grease logs. And um, through the pipes, through the lift stations, um, could possibly cause some backflow and raw sewage to come up. Now we hope that doesn't happen and we go to all kinds of lengths to try to ensure that doesn't happen, but we rely on our residents to do their part too and not to put the grease down the drain. Now it can be expensive even before it gets all the way to the wastewater system. It can be pretty expensive for a homeowner if they get a, a grease clog in, uh, right in their own drain at home, right? Sure can. Uh, grease builds up and builds up and your, your water's going down and all of a sudden someday it just will stop and it does need to be handled and uh, we always suggest that you call a professional person to uh, take care of that and get your water flowing out of, um, down your drain again. Now, uh, you know, since grease causes so much damage, uh, it can cause a lot of damage to your home, it can cause a lot of damage to the sewer system, why, why is it that people just kind of tend to, to typically just pour it straight down the drain? Well, people want to do the easiest thing, and on the holidays they're not thinking about sewer systems and water treatment and recycling of um, grease and proper disposal. Uh, they just want to get those dishes clean, so they tend to just put the dishes in their sink and um, wash them and all that grease goes down the drain. And as you mentioned, it's the, um, it's the butter, it's gravy. Gravy's made of a lot of fat. Um, baking goods, you bake with butter. Uh, the drippings that were left over in your pan when you cooked your turkey or you cake, other meats um, have um, pan drippings. And all those are the grease that can come together and cause um, clogs. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, so th that's what you shouldn't do with your grease. You shouldn't pour it down the drain. What, uh, what should people do with their grease after they're done cooking? Well, there's a couple of different options here. The easiest is just go scrape your, your leftover food and that leftover pad of butter and leftover gravy into your trash. Usually people have some paper towels or napkins that were in there that'll absorb the grease. You want to be sure it's cool. Um, if you have leftover pan drippings, you want to be sure you cool that off. You don't want to pour hot grease in a plastic uh, garbage bag. So um, be sure it's cool. You can put it right in your, your um, trash there. Or a lot of people have grease jars. In fact, I'm sure a lot of um, parents and grandparents and our relatives had grease jars out there. They, you can collect the grease. You can actually even reuse it, keep that good baking grease and reuse it to cook some cornbread or something. But um, you can collect it in a soup can 
maybe even put it in the freezer and then when it's your trash day put it in your can um, before it goes out to the, um, the garbage and our garbage in Pinellas County is is um, burned at our waste energy plant where we generate electricity and that grease burns really well <laughs> so that's that's what happens if you if you throw your grease in the garbage you collect it like you just described and you throw it in the garbage it's going to be converted into energy at the, at the waste uh, waste energy plant and then the uh, another option of, of disposing grease, especially if you have a large amount, is to take it to a cooking oil recycling center. And there are uh, four places around the county. The uh, city of Clearwater has one. Uh, the city of Largo, city of Dunedin. Uh, the Pinellas County has one called the Dunn facility, which is on off of Alderman 19 between Klosterman and Alderman, mm -hmm. where you can drop your uh, cooking oil. And our Pinellas County Household Electronics and Chemical Collection Center also collects cooking oil. So this is a great place to take all that oil that you use to fry the turkey. And um, we will bring it into the centers and it'll actually get recycled and reused. Okay, okay. So yeah, so that's if you got some big quantity of grease, you, th those are some places you can take them if it's not really appropriate to uh, just throw right. it in you your... You wouldn't want to take a c gallon of grease and put it down your <laughs> in your um, trash can at home. That's a little too much. But the, by putting a little your, your turkey or, or beef drippings in your butter, it's that's fine to go into your trash. And even bacon grease. Uh, may I show you my grease wheel here? Yes, yes. I've been very curious <laughs> to see <laughs> the grease right. wheel. This has a half a pound of uh, bacon grease in it. Mm -hmm. And notice it's not moving even with these hot studio lights here. Mm -hmm. um, this is what happens to grease in your pipes um, and maybe your arteries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it is um, better to uh, dispose of it in other ways. So some folks think you know you could use uh, a dish a dishwasher detergent, and when you you pour it on your greasy pan, and all the grease seems to just slip away. But that doesn't quite work once it gets down the drain, right? No, it, it does. You're not seeing it, but it's just being dispersed in the, in the water, and the grease is still there uh, as it goes along the uh, into the sewer pipes. It's still going to come together. I've been told that they take out grease logs out, um, size. Um, logs the si um, full of grease mm -hmm. out of um, sometimes the sewer pipes or we have our um, lift stations that can get cogged with grease, grease. And, and when it gets to the wastewater treatment plant you can actually see the grease there you might even call it National Grease Day when all that uh, grease starts coming. We get um, grease bubbles and um, you, you, can, you can really see it. Yeah, right after Thanksgiving, it's like right. National Grease Day because yeah. there's so much grease going through the system. Yep. Right, yep. right. <laughs> um, and, and a lot of times when people have a, a, a sink that's uh, clogged with grease, they, they use some sort of commercial drain cleaner, but I, I understand that can be uh, harmful to the, to the water system. Right. And, um, when you uh, treat the water, wastewater treatment, they use microorganisms, which are little live beings, and chemicals kill those uh, microorganisms, so it's always better to do something natural. Natural. Our first choice would be, if you if you think it's a really bad one, to call a, a plumber or somebody to help you, a professional. Uh, you can use a more natural products of white vinegar, a half a cup of white vinegar and a half a cup of baking soda, mm -hmm. and mix that together and um, put that down your drain and see if that'll unclog the grease. And try to do that before using chemicals. If you do use one of the commercial chemicals out there, commercial drain cleaners, um, please look at the directions. Don't just say, oh, this is bad, I'm going to dump the whole bottle. It, maybe you only need a quarter of a cup. Uh, just follow the directions. And uh, one other thing I wanted to ask you about, Jan, is if, uh, l let's say you're a small business and you use lots of grease for, for cooking, and uh, what th there's different requirements, right, if you're a, a business yeah, owner? There sure, there sure is. Um, Pinellas County has a grease ordinance, and you can go online and, and find that. Um, but what it does say is that the grease has to be um, handled and hauled to a, 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 a grease processor. There are actually 22 certified grease haulers in the county and that can be found online and um, the, the re usually restaurants or people that are using a lot of grease um, know how to find a grease hauler but you can't just they have to be certified through um, the Pinellas County Utilities Department. All right. Well, Jan, thanks so much for joining us today. I know when folks uh, are, are cooking uh, through these holidays, they'll think about this grease wheel and, and hopefully think, uh, think about putting that in the garbage instead of down the drain. And I hope they also think that when they bring that cooking oil to one of the recycling centers that we're going to do something pretty cool with it. It can be biofuel, it can be made into um, uh, animal feed, 
fertilizer, even soap. So uh, even though you didn't need that cooking oil uh, and it was used, it can be um, reused for a beneficial use. Jan, thanks again for joining us today. To see a repeat of this presentation, visit www.pinellascounty.org slash e-series. For more information on getting rid of grease, check out the A to Z Recycling and Disposal Guide online at www.pinellascounty.org slash solid waste slash get rid of it. Go to G for grease. And if you have any questions about today's topic, be sure to email them to communications-media1 at pinellascounty.org, and we'll be sure to get back with you. Join us again for the next Good to Know, right here on PCC-TV.